Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Travis. Just wanted to do another devotion. They are coming far and far between. I apologize for that. This uh, this new homeschooling, getting the kids up and going in the morning has taken away from my coffee time in the morning. Um, I do want to continue to do these and do them more often. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about today is um, I want to talk about Habakkuk. And I was just reading through Habakkuk the other day. And uh, God was just speaking to me about some certain things. Now, we need to understand something uh, in regards to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk lived during one of Judah's uh, critical periods. Um, it, there was a lot going on. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't a comfortable time for Habakkuk. Uh, the country was falling uh, from Josiah's reforms. King Josiah came in and brought reforms and brought the word of God back to the people so that they could obey the word and have the blessing of God on the nation. But they had fallen away from Josiah's reforms. Uh, there was violent treatment uh, of citizens. There was oppression against the, the poor. Uh, the legal system was actually collapsing in Judah at this time. And there was war all around uh, the nation of Judah. And Habakkuk is really overwhelmed uh, by the darkness that's surrounding him. Um, and this book really gives us an account of his journey from, from doubting to being a man of worship. Habakkuk asked God questions uh, in the first three chapters. It's all the first two chapters um, are all about God, how, how he's asking God questions concerning what's happening in Judah. And, and, and then God's answering those questions. You know, sometimes we feel like we're overwhelmed with darkness. And so we're moving into we're in a season right now where where things are shaking up all around us and we're wondering what to do. And I really love how uh, how. Uh, Habakkuk ends the last um, paragraph here in chapter 3 of Habakkuk. He really, he's praying and he sings a song. This is a psalm. And this is what he says to the Lord. It's a hymn of faith. Verse 17, though the fig tree may not blossom, okay, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive tree may fail, and the fields yield no food, Although the flock may be cut off from the fold, how many feel like you're cut off from the fold? You can't come to church right now. And there are be no herd in the stalls. I'm the only one here at the church today. There's no herds in the stall. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And so even in the midst of a dark time, uh, he, he chose to worship God the God of his salvation. And this is where, where we need to learn as people that no matter where we are, uh, even as, uh, you know, uh, people throughout history have been in dark times, believers have been in dark times, that we learn to, to worship and rejoice in the Lord because he is our deliverer. Look at the next verse, verse 19. The Lord God is my strength. Uh, he will make my feet like deer's feet. Deer's feet. Now deer can run very fast. And he will make me walk on my high hills. How many know there's high hills in our life? And God wants us to walk up into those high hills. You know, the, the mule deer is actually a deer that is much like a mountain goat and can climb these ridiculous mountains. They, they get their feet, they take their, their, their front two feet, they put them down. And then when they move their back feet, they find the same little edge and they, they're able to climb very effectively. And I have a picture here I want to show you. This is a picture of mountain goats climbing. But the deer goats or the uh, mule goats are very, very similar. They can climb. And God has made our feet like this. Take a look at this picture. Isn't that crazy? So, so in, in this time, God will make you, uh, he, he will give you the ability. As we rejoice in the Lord, the God of our salvation, he gives us the ability, like this, this, like a mule goat, a mule deer, to climb up and put our feet in those little crevices and find our way to the top of our mountains so we can have victory. And God is faithful. He's going to do it for us. He's going to bring us through this time. Uh, keep trucking for Jesus. Keep moving forward. God is with you. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for your people. I thank you that your word says that as we rejoice in the Lord and we have joy in the God of our salvation, that you are our strength and you will make our feet like deer's feet. 
and we'll be able to climb to the high places and rule over the mountains that try to pop up in our life. And you are faithful and you are the God, you are the God of strength. And we give you all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. You guys have a blessed day. God bless you.